Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Jack's Mechanics. Um, today we have a Mitsubishi Lancer 2015 model. It's got the 4B11 2 litre engine and customer complaint again of a check. And it's got the OBD up again and P0137 O2 sensor circuit low voltage bank one sensor two being a four cylinder this is obviously just the post cap sensor we'll go back um, at the current there is no engine light 97,000 K's just warming it up <clears throat> try and get you away from that glare So let's just go down to see if we can find a uh, bank one sensor two. Nope. Engine speed there, thirteen hundred. So maybe we're coming down to a, you know, an idle situation, coasting. Um, yep, nothing there. Okay, we'll just have a look in our live data, see if we have any, um, if it's faulting at the moment. Bank one sensor two it was just dead. You know, come alive. You pretty much never want to see um, any sensor, you know, zero volts. You know, for our oxygen sensor, our narrow bands, our range would be 100 millivolts to um, 900 millivolts realistically. We'll just speed it up, see if we, oh. Sorry, the recording cut out. We'll just bring the RPM up, obviously our front sensor's looking pretty sweet. 2000 RPM at the moment. You know, not always the best idea to bring the RPM up, um, but it's pretty much already came alive anyway. Because um, sometimes, yeah, getting the air down, the the heat down the um, exhaust can sometimes wake the sensors up, and we miss what what we're trying to find. But you know, we've seen those that zero voltage um, at the start. So it come back down to idle, see if it... <laughs> yeah, at the moment it's looking good. Um, I think we'll just do our usual checks, we'll just check that we've got a... Um, good ground and um, a good heater um, control side and then we'll just put a sensor in it so we just got our usual setup in the heater 
Do I test light? I'm gonna turn my test light up. Uh, Carolyn. It is good on there. Um, a bit hard for me, but I've got a two mil flat. And we just need to basically go into the oxygen sensor side and make sure that the um, terminal contact is good. I had to do this off camera because I clearly I need two hands with the position of the seat and the plug and everything. Um, everything good there. So next I will just um, go over to the ground. I'm not sure which one is the actual ground and the signal. I think the um, blue is the signal and the white is the ground. Um, and we'll just confirm that we have a ground and then we'll basically put us so um, sorry about all the background noise if you guys can hear that um, it's been a few hours uh, still waiting on the oxygen sensor uh, in the last clip we were just checking um, the ground and everything um, and I found that it had a half volt bias on there so I just thought I needed to do some research and some a couple more tests um, so this is a in fact it is a half volt bias and um, I was just concerned that maybe um, it had a bad ground and um, if we checked here um, at the um, DLC in the for the sensor ground um, and it has zero volts and this is a fed um, half volt bias half volt bias voltage from the um, PCM so um, when I checked the signal wire um, as you can see we're at the moment here we're at 780 and sensors working okay I'll just swap my um, connection over back to the signal wire and I'll show you um, what we found okay so on the signal wire um, we've got 1.3 um, 33 volts and down here now we've got 860 millivolts you know there's 0.03 of a um, voltage drop um, uh, sorry, just had an interruption. So, yep, 1.32 um, minus our 0.5 gives us our 8.4. Um, so that we want to take our ground voltage bias away from our signal voltage, and that gives us our actual oxygen sensor voltage down there. Um, but yeah, it just was needed to confirm that we actually had a um, high, uh, um, a half volt bias rather than just a bad ground. So if I'll just connect this, sorry, onto our ground lead, if I can. Um, so you can see our actual sensor grounds, which is in their ground to sensor ground is actually perfect. So that proves that it is a um, bias voltage and that's, that's that. I don't think I can show you anything else. Um, needs a new sensor. Um, it's you know working okay at the moment, but that's just typical of all these videos. Um, it did take a long time to sort of come alive. As you can see there, 300 frames, and the upstream one. Well, just well, it was running even before this a little bit. Um, you know for a couple of minutes and it still wasn't alive and it still took all this time where the front one was nice and alive um, not sure if that's the actual code setting criteria um, I'd say it's probably more driving and dropping down to zero volts but um, either way new sensor is on its way still and um, that, this one will fix this so nice little information about the bias voltage side of things um, nearly caught me out, but that's why it's always good to do all of our checks and not just assume that it needs an O2 sensor as soon as we see an O2 sensor code. So, um, thanks for following us, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you took something away. If you did, please consider liking, please consider subscribing. See you the next one. Take care.